I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.snapwithelaine.com. I found these round pops and thought it would make a nice change from making candy canes. They're great as table favours or even as stocking fillers. So if you want easy Christmas craft stuff for craft fairs, these are really quick and easy and fairly inexpensive to stock up on. They measure uh, approximately one and three quarter inches in diameter and about one and a quarter inches in height. So that's 4.4 centimetres by 2.9 centimetres. So you can package them up to look like this and then they just stand up and I'll show you how. The stamp set I'm using is Take Out Treats. I'm using this little image here and also this sentiment here. It also has a set of coordinating dies to make darling sweet treat boxes. I featured this in a previous video, but for today we're only going to be using the stamp set. The other stamp set I'm using is Sincerely Santa and it's this little image that I want. This stamp set is designed to use with the Sincerely Santa project kit which comes in this tin and it includes 30 pre-printed tags with all the embellishments that you need to make them up with including the ribbon, bells, doilies and foil cards. I did this with my club ladies this month. There are six of each in five designs. The cardstock you need is real red, two inches by eight inches, and you need to score that at two inches, four inches, six inches. In metric, that will be five centimeters, 10.2 centimeters, and 15.2 centimeters. You'll also need some scrap of shaded spruce and whisper white and also the silver glimmer paper and also some silver glimmer paper. The inks I'm using are real red shaded spruce pool party and a shaded spruce marker. We need a Christmas traditions punch and a half inch circle punch. Some real red Sat mixed satin ribbon rhinestones reinforce the score lines on your two inch by eight inch strip i've mounted my stamps on an a block and a b block and first i'm going to stamp this image from the sincerely Sta santa stamp set in real red i'm just going to stamp randomly and you turn your paper as you go. Fold it in half and take your half inch circle punch and punch out half a semicircle on the fold. Centre it into the cardstock. Set that aside with the same stamp. On the paper, angle the punch so that only the candy cane is showing. Ink up the word yum and stamp it just above the candy cane. Change ink pads to shaded spruce and stamp the sweets change ink pads and this time only ink up the snowflake and stamp it in the corner there. Next take the uh, journaling end of the marker pen and just draw a couple of lines on the sweet.
punch out a shaded spruce piece, another piece in whisper white, in silver, with a shaded spruce piece cut straight across so you get a rectangle and cut that in half. On the back of your stamped piece, run some fast fuse or snail adhesive and pop your label on top with say about an eighth of an inch showing. Okay, then on this piece fast fuse on that as well then cut this say about a quarter of an inch from the straight edge and do the same with this one you can discard that bit <clears throat> and on the underside, with the sticky side face down, if you hold your cardstock this way, then you can gauge how much edge you want exposed. Okay? And do the same with this side. If you follow me, I would have done this in my top tips on Tuesday. So today I'm just recapping it in case you haven't watched it yet. Take that off. And then you can pop that on top. So can you see that? Decide which is going to be your front. So we want adhesive on the back of this. Glue it to the front of the box. <clears throat> so if that's going to be the front, you want this to bend backwards. So, put adhesive on that panel, right at the end, next to the label. Pop your candy in, before you seal it up. Okay. So the back wraps round to the front, and the front goes over the back like so. Voila! Last thing to do, a rib, piece of ribbon. Then just tidy it up, snip a bit off. And to finish you can just pop a rhinestone on there. So <clears throat> there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for visiting today and I'll be back with my final episode in my Christmas countdown series this Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.